Hi. This week I've got I've had three people contacting me asking me about a crank no start with their trucks. And a lot of times you can get by with just using your scan gauge and checking Fickum sync, Fickum power, ICP pressure and IPR voltage. And and usually you can find it, but when you're having tricky ones or when you want to be 100% sure, you need to know what your ICP voltage is reading, your injection control voltage, because if you have a bad signal whether it be from the ICP sensor leaking oil through there and causing resistance and you're not getting a true reading or you have a broken wire or connection or something else going on with it you, you want to make sure that your ICP signal is true the voltage is right if you ever lose the voltage or the connection on your ICP sensor it goes it'll default to what they called inferred or made up or the computer just substitute it says hey I don't know what my ICP pressure voltage really is so I'm going to go off of desired pressure which is just when it's the, it's a pre-programmed it'll command the IPR on it just exactly what it thinks it should be it's a strategy trying to get the driver home but it's not accurate when we have no starts we have some that are kicking our butt and we've got to find out what it is so I'll, there's a few things we have a, a choice of here one, we can get more or less high dollar scanners like this. You can go get your snap-on scanner or you can get an IDS here and try to do it. And then you can look at your voltage. That's one way. You can try to back probe it. Um, I guess if you're, you can do that, it's up to you. But I found another way that I, um, from getting parts from this guy that sells some pretty good, uh, he sells good quality original equipment parts and he'll also have uh, as far as aftermarket parts, I really like his pigtail connectors and his sensors, and he has them for Ford, Dodge, Chevy, or anything else. So what I'm going to focus on right now is a 6.0. The uh, oh, this one's actually a 7.3, but it's the same thing. I'm going to focus on an ICP sensor, and as you can see with this one here, we've got an ICP voltage of 0.18, and that's normally what we see, about a quarter of a volt. It can be as low as sometimes I see. 0.16 and as high as say 0.28 but normally that's what we see 0 0.18 0 0.20 on a 7.3 0.24 on a 6.0 it's not a big difference so um, anyhow we're gonna look for roughly a quarter of a volt and I'm gonna show you how to do it using this guy's pigtails that he had made up and show you a few other parts so let's go out here and do this okay now the connector that I'm using I got it from diesel truck parts direct he sells on eBay, but he also has a website. So it, we got to give this guy some credit here because he's taking the initiative to start these and make these. And he makes a lot of uh, other pigtail connectors and sensors, which I'll show you in a second. But again, focusing back on the injection control pressure sensor on the 6.0 and 7.3 and what we're looking for. As you can see here, taking the connector and looking at it, say it's looking at you just like a, uh, for I guess for the best way to describe it is, let's just say a face. So we have a right eye, left eye, and a mouth or nose, however you want to do it. The one that's on the bottom, which would be the nose or the mouth, is also the red one. So that makes it pretty handy for us because it's easy to remember red as voltage or power. So that's the one that we're going to put on and be doing the probing or the testing on. So we just have this to go in line with it. Again, makes it really handy if you wanted to even try to run a gauge or do anything to your truck. You can do that. We can monitor actual voltage all the time. So we just have this to go in series with it. We're going to unplug the ICP sensor, put it in, reconnect it here. So we, we more or less we just got it in line there. We're interrupting the signal and we're going, uh, we're going to check it here and see what the true voltage is. But also what's nice about this, we can look at voltage reference. Voltage reference is the computer puts out five voltage reference because it, it starts low like that so it can keep it consistent. That way it knows with the... Um, the amount of the voltage coming back it knows the pressure so it sends out five volts reference and then depending on how much it gets back that's how it calculates the voltage uh, or the pressure and that's why it's important because when we don't have a six the again when we don't have the signal it's just made up so we want to go with uh, we want to check it so we're going to be look put this on the truck and be looking for again about a quarter of a volt and it, here is again our schematic where we can see we have the um, the ones here but we have the injection pressure number three or the nose mouth however you want to look at it that's the one we're looking at the red wire so let's look at this on the truck once I've gotten the connector here is I, I have the ends they already come actually pre-done so I just pull the ends off 
I'll just take a red butt connector and I've slipped it over it and I'll crimp them down. And the reason why I do this though, I have an insulation, that way it protects the wires from arcing or touching with anything. So just again for protection, I'm gonna go ahead and install these red butt connectors and put it on the truck. And here it is installed on the truck. As you can see, I just unplugged my ICP sensor. Again, this being a 7.3, it's on the front of the driver's side head, the front inside. And I just put it in series, I unplugged this connector there, reattached it here, that way I've got my voltage from the uh, PCM going and I can check my signal return or my voltage back to see what my ICP is reading out right now. So it's pretty handy here with it. And again, they got red butt connectors are just for insulation. So there it is connected. Now let's do the test. Okay, I'm just going to use the basic Craftsman scanner here and we're going to use the uh, 20 volt direct current scale because that should be enough here with what the vehicle with what it's putting out it's actually only has the max of 5 volts so I've got it on voltage direct current I'll take my ground stick it underneath my battery here on the ground side of the battery take my red lead I'd like to verify that it's working so we'll take the red lead touch on the battery and as you can see we have battery voltage about 12 and a half so now I know that's good and then what I want to do is take my again take my red lead and go to the red power wire off the ICP sensor and stick it in there and see what we have. So now as you can see we've got the 0.19 roughly a quarter of a volt, a little less of course, but we have what we saw with the uh, you know instead of buying a scanner that costs you thousands of dollars here with this pigtail connector, um, the least expensive way I know that you can do it again without back probing it you can go ahead and do your own voltage test here. So there it is, where you can check your voltage and verify at least your signal out of your ICP sensor. Okay, a couple other things I wanna say as far as uh, giving a shout out here to Diesel Truck Parts Direct, because again, he's taking the initiative, he's the one that's finding this, getting, he's actually even getting some of these developed. And it doesn't matter whether you're buying the uh, original equipment sensors, he'll have uh, original equipment ICP sensors, I buy from him all the time, I've been using them for over a year. Uh, it's good quality. He has that, or he has aftermarket ones for these 7.3s that's just been developed that we're testing out, and they're available for sale right now. But it, it's good stuff, it, and it doesn't. It's not just Ford. He has uh, he has stuff for the Cummins, for the Duramax, for all types of vehicles, internationals, the semis. He he does all types of diesel truck parts and makes all types of connectors. Of course, me being a Ford tech, I just stick with that. Some of the other things I want to show you that he has. When you have your ICP sensors, you see these on eBay from them. He sells them for like 10 bucks. It's actually a good quality one like they used to be on the 7.3 and the early 6.0s, uh, the 03 models. They're pretty good. Has the, uh, the connector. It, these sensors are from them too. The uh, oil pressure sensors, good quality again. His aftermarket stuff's good quality and he has the genuine. Uh, again, he has the pigtails for that, for the, uh, for the sensors here. He also has for, you can hear these are for mostly that with CM on is being your IPR valve and your, uh, your turbo actuator lever. So he has these pigtails here. And one that's really handy that I was begging him for the longest time to try to make on these 7.3s when you want to do what they call the dual ICP test. You take your exhaust back pressure sensor and uh, connect it over there so you can do a dual voltage test with ICP sensors in both of them. He's made an extension here for your ICP sensors. Again, he just has the male and the female where we can unplug the exhaust back pressure sensor, plug it in here, put an ICP sensor in the passenger side head, and start monitoring voltage from your EVP signal and your ICP signal to do the uh, dual ICP test or check to see if the heads are equal with the, with the sensors. So again, a shout out to Diesel Truck Parts Direct because he's the one that's doing this. If you need any sensors for any uh, manufacturer and all that, and go give him, uh, check him out on eBay. Also, he has a website. And if you like my videos, please like and subscribe. I got my website coming too. That's be here pretty soon. DieselTechRon.com. Thank you.